Hey y'all, welcome to Word of Hannah. Welcome back if you're returning. So what I'm picking up on is some, uh, I don't want, I don't know why I'm getting Lacosa Nostra again. So no offense to anybody Italian, but that's, that's my word. Okay. Our thing, like our thing. So that is what I use to describe anybody who works in a group and um, has like a mob mentality. Um, I say La Cosa Nostra and that is what I mean by it um, because I do know what it means. Um, <clears throat> um, but I don't know if this is this has to do with somebody, somebody Italian because I'm picking up on like, I don't know if somebody's Italian and they're from Chicago, um, maybe from like, down in Cicero, maybe where Al Capone and them used to kick it at. Um, really, he used to kick it there, but um, I don't know if somebody was related to Mayor Daly from back then, or um, I'm picking up on that heavy. Um, so, yeah, but I'm picking up that somebody might be planning to try to humiliate somebody using information that they're not supposed to have access to. Um, what I'm specifically getting is that like, if you have a presentation, I'm getting a PowerPoint or a presentation or a meeting or something coming up, somebody might like, or somebody else does and you're supposed to sit in it. Somebody might, oh, I accidentally played this and it wasn't an accident where they're like planning to show you doing something saying something like where they're going to show something that's of you that's supposed to cause you some sort of embarrassment right before like a big meeting a big opportunity a promotion a raise a, um maybe even in front of somebody who they know you're supposed to be destined um, who you're destined to partner with it really is all about how you handle it so respond don't react no matter what it is um, how you handle the situation is going to determine the entire outcome, no matter what it is. Um, there also could be like a bunch of people could be like posting. If you're somebody who gets gang stalked and stuff like that, people could be posting about you on social media, like a lot right now, like where it's like, they're all just doing it in droves. Let me tell you, this is going to backfire. Um, because you can't just have videos of people on your phone just because you have a camera on your phone. And that is a concept I have been trying to get people to really, really digest for the better part of about 15 years now. Just because when those like little, those little Walmart websites used to come up where people would take pictures of somebody, like, oh, look what this person has on. Ah, and it's just like, yeah, you think that you having a camera on your phone means that you can violate somebody else's privacy. That's not the intended use and you can't do that to people. That's a group of people that's gonna find that out. Um, Cause you can't, you can't go around humiliating people just because you feel like it. Um, nobody has a right to do that to you um, or anybody. So it could be that a group of people is trying to like either run interference and try to block an opportunity by all posting on Facebook at the same time. Like, oh, we're all going to post this right now. Oh, look. Or they could be like going around saying like, oh, you look familiar. And it's because the, the motherfuckers look Cosa Nostra um, because they are part of this thing that has to do with gang stalking you. Or, oh, I guess just hang on. I guess y'all um, forgot how fine I am. Um, or it could be, I'm definitely getting that it's something like that. It's something like mental is what I heard. Something really twisted. Um, and then I also got that it could be that whoever it is who's been gang stalking you and stuff like that, who is La Cosa Nostra, who may be like the, the leader of the, of the gang is what I heard. They could have like seen something that you posted where maybe some of your, so when it comes to like spiritual gifts, when people play around in your energy and they fixate on you, I'm sorry, I have to turn the camera because I don't want to catch somebody on the camera who's not. Um, but when they get all up in your energy, you can't help but to start picking up on their business because they're in your energy. 
And when that happens, they only have themselves to blame for that because they're the ones who are in your energy, not the other way around. More than likely, you want to be left alone. You don't even want their stank ass energy anywhere near you, but they want to fixate on you. And then when there's these problems that come about as a result of their fixation, they want to retaliate as if the entire initiation of this issue didn't lie in their hands, as if somehow you're responding to something that, that, that as if the consequence is coming before the action. It's that same dichotomy. It's definitely the same people I've been picking up on. It's that dichotomy where it's like, yeah, this isn't happening. This is a happenstance. This isn't something that's just taking place just because it's Tuesday. This is happening because you did this, then the, you, then you did this, then you did that. Da, 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 da. So these are people who are going to run from accountability for as long as possible. Um, so they may be, there may be something that's coming down that's going to make them have to start taking accountability for the choices that they've made in terms of how they decided to show up in whatever community it is that they're in and thus them deciding that they wanted to be La Cosa Nostra against people just because. Um, but they could, like somebody could have seen something that you posted. Maybe you're, you're a YouTuber. Maybe you posted something. This could be me. Who knows? And they were just like, oh, you picked up on us. You're talking about us. So now we're going to post what we have on you. And it's like, it's the dichotomy. It's like, um, first of all, I'm not stalking you. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, it's not the same. This isn't you defending yourself because when it comes to that thing where people like to sit up here and they like to fixate and, and attack and group up and have the beehive mentality and things like that and take actions against people it's like you're not defending yourself because you were never provoked maybe your little feelings were hurt i've been picking up along a lot of the energy of people operating out of their ego and creating problems as a result of that Nevertheless, if their ego is so private and their actual feelings and whatever offenses they have are so private that they can't share them, then they also have to be so private that they can't sit up here and make somebody else pay for them. Because it's like you can't involve somebody in your hurt feelings as far as like responding to your own little hurt feelings, but you don't want to share it. It's like if, you're, if your personal feelings are so personal your ego is so personal that you don't want to tell anybody what you're really upset about, then it's like, okay, well then don't act out of your ego as if somebody does know what your feelings are. Because if you're not going to share them, then don't act on them either. Because that puts people in a position where they have to essentially manage somebody else's emotions. But if this, that's not your child, it's not your responsibility to work through their emotions. And if you decide that that's something that you want to do, first that person has to tell you what their feelings are. You're not their partner. You're not their mind reader, I don't think. I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I don't know if you're a mind reader. I don't know. But they have to They have to grow up. That's what this is. Somebody got to grow up. And tell me if the last couple of channelings I've been getting aren't all about adults acting like children. Tell me that ain't exactly what's going on.